Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can prevent reactives from being initialized, um, whatever that means. So I have the application from the previous video with the compute methods and the colors, so if I run it, what we get is an application where you can type some RGB values and you get the colors and you can preview the colors. And what you can see here is in the code, the four reactive variables that power all of this, they are initialized like this. So the red, green and blue components, they start off as zero. And the color of the static, the, the, the region in the middle, starts off as transparent. Now, this might not be very clear, but if I change the defaults, let's pretend that the defaults were 255. All right. So if the defaults are 255, the, the, the default color, so to speak, is white because 255, 255, 255 defines white. And this is what we get if we run the app. Even though we set color to be transparent in the beginning and we haven't typed anything. What's happening in short, what's happening is after the application is mounted and after this widget is, sorry, this is the application, yeah, after the application is mounted, all of these reactives are being initialized and this forces the color or this makes it so that the color is computed via its compute method and then set through its watch method. But sometimes you don't want reactives to be initialized like this after being mounted. You want them to be initialized with the value that you typed without triggering watch methods and validate methods and compute methods and whatnot. And so to get, to get that effect, what you can do is in the reactive or the reactives that you do not want to trigger when, uh, when on mount, you just do init equals false. So you can use this, you can use this um, value to say that this reactive should not be initialized when it's widget or when its application is mounted. And so if I rerun my application, you can see that this, this middle region, this area here is transparent. And it's only when I type something that the color is computed because I'm no longer this is just, sorry, I, I was thinking, I'm no longer inside the on mount case. It's not the very first case that I skip. This is just regular functioning. So what I'm doing here is with init equals false, I'm preventing the watch, validate and compute methods of this specific reactive to run when I'm starting my application. For example, another you can see what happens here if I do. So there's red, green, blue. If I run my application like so, I start with the white area. If I say that the green shouldn't be initialized and blue shouldn't be initialized, can you guess what shows if I run my application? So red and color are initialized on mount, but green and blue are not. And so when I run this, I still get the white region, of course. What I wanted was init equals false. No, I was bamboozled by my own question. So let's walk you re really quickly through what I expected. So I said green and blue are init equals false. And so for some reason I thought, yeah, this is going to start off as red. But that's ridiculous because that's not what I said. That's not how I said these things work. So by saying init equals false on green, none of the compute watch or validate methods of green ran when the application was mounted. And same thing for blue. But I don't have any compute watch or validate methods for green and blue, only for color. And because color does not have init equals false, when the application was mounted, I ran the compute method on color and red, green and blue were both, were all set to 255 and so color was set to white, period. And if I do init equals false, then I prevent color from being computed on mount. And so I just go with the transparent value. So adding the init equals false here does not change the initial color I might see. All right, so I hope this made sense, especially since I got confused a bit. So maybe you were confused as well. And hopefully that helped clear things up for everyone involved.
So if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them because this is not trivial stuff. It's very useful, but not trivial. I'll also add a link to these things um, in the documentation. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.